Hey guys, this is 22x here again. This time we have a single rank video. Today I'm using our rental team. That's the rental call right there. Um, I haven't had time to use my my own team yet. It's still kind of half built, but I really wanted to at least get your great bolt tier. You know, get some a couple battles, get the feel of the meta. It's really crazy. The DLC brought a lot of Pokemon's. I was I was actually very impressed that. That the meta has shifted so much that, like there's so many different things i've been seeing around and, and this is my first time playing competitive like in pokemon so i, I know a lot of pokemon's like uh polito are coming back and i'm really excited to have a second uh drizzles team for for those that you know don't like pelipper um i'm indifferent toward that but yeah so i'm gonna go use this team pretty basic uh they, they had a little small like guide so i kind of know how to do things Pretty much, uh, Scissor and Cleffy are gonna be my support Pokemons. Then Gyarados and Cinderace are gonna be my main, main Pokemons I will always be bringing for my sweepers. Uh, sometimes, you know, Gyarados might go first or Cinderace, but right? this Cinderace is a G Max Liberal Cinderace, which by the way is my favorite uh, G Max out of all the starters so far. And Liberal is just so OP. I like, try not to use it, it is, it's just so rough sometimes. Like. I just feel bad if I forget to bring it and and if the unless the other um, player misplays Man, it's just Cinderace is just a beast and then uh, Ushifu and Dermanitan are in the back They did say they're more of like, you know baiting the, the opponent just Oh shit type of cases. I believe when I was playing this I didn't really use those two them too much definitely um, I really like scissor is a check for the for fairy Pokemon's and it's really really good in general. Uh, you guys want to see what it is, but I, I really like this scissor bro. It's pretty unique, I believe. Um, I showed it a couple to my friends and they were like, "Huh." So, all right, our first opponent has Excadrill, Mimikyu, Lapras, Cinderace, Chansey, and Snorlax. I actually haven't fought any Snorlax. I do have stuff for them if they do bring it, but I'm pretty sure they're gonna um, either start with Mimikyu or Cinderace. So I'm gonna just do uh, scissor. Just in case, and then I'm probably gonna be bringing my own Cinderace to go against them. Uh, it will be a check for both the uh, Lapras and Excadrill. And let's see. Yeah, Scissor for for Mimikyu and the Chansey. Cinderace should be able to uh, handle the Snorlax. Um, uh, maybe Gyarados in the back. I was hesitating a lot, um, mostly because, like, you know, first battle, not warm up at all. But I decided to go with Gyarados too and Cinderace. This actually is my favorite trio. Um, the person that created this team too was saying like they brought those two a lot of the time. Rarely did they not have the other one. So yeah, I'm pretty excited. I was very nervous, and I was like, double checking. What this team did, like I, I, got, I had to have like the sheet next to me, just kept in like looking it up and was like, okay, what does this do? All right, so he started with Cinderace. I started with Scissor. It's not the worst thing. He can one shot me because of uh, my focus sash at least. And here's the really cool thing about the Scissor. I'm gonna survive the attack at least once. So if if I want to go past, uh, if I know that the opponent is not gonna. KO me and stuff. Uh, sword Dance and bat uh, Baton Pass are actually pretty good tools to use. But in this case, I know he's gonna be attacking me. There's a high chance that he's also even gonna uh, G Max. Okay, so he didn't the G Max, but you know, I know, no, he's not gonna kill me. So all I have, and, and you know, he was fast, right? So all I have to do is counter. And this is actually such a cool thing about this build. And then I KO. Like, Sister has done, has one shot. So many Pokemon is during this whole like singles battles I've been having. It's been working pretty well. I really like it. Uh, the only downside that I do not like is when I'm a, a speed disadvantage stuff like that because it won't check for the. You know, it, it's also my my only Pokemon that checks for for the fairies, right? So if I I do this kind of strat and he had like the strat on the back, I'm screwed. Uh, here's a mistake I did. I should try bullet punching, maybe I, I could have been faster. I don't know. I mean, at this point, 
scissor dies regardless. But I should I should have seen if I, I could have won the speed. So he hasn't used his dynamax. Uh, dynamax. He didn't dynamax in the race. So I'm not gonna use it yet. I don't think I need it. Uh, I do want to save it for for Cinderace instead. But for now, I'm just gonna just scare those. And uh, this character is actually is intimidate instead of Moxie. I personally like both. I, I see how like they're they're good in this case. But in singles, you don't see a lot of intimidate Pokemons. Or at least I didn't see them as much. I, I don't know, as you go in the rank, there might be more. I definitely see them more on doubles. So the fact they have an intimidate, it really is nice. It's just like, you know, super effective, right? Barely hurt me. And then we just get the waterfall. I um, wonder if it's a focus dash. Yes. Okay, so this is real focus dash. I should be able to KO it in the next turn, though. Now he's two down, and I have one left. I mean, I still have... Uh, they haven't Dynamax yet, which I'm not surprised. I would have expected them to Dynamax Excadrill. I, I personally will have tried that just to change the, what is going on. Alright, he got Lapras. Uh, that's actually not a big deal. I believe since I'm minus two speed, Lapras probably is faster than me. Yeah, he's going to be faster. See, so he's not Dynamaxing either. Like, I, I am so confused why they didn't Dynamax. Do they want to just save it on the on the last one? I mean, I suppose that freeze that. Uh, 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 yeah, I would personally have like Dynamax to get the bell up. Cause Cinderace, Cinderace is gonna just KO uh, with Max Knuckle. He's just gonna KO it, and we're faster too. So he can Dynamax you, but it should be still KO from me, I believe. But I I want a Dynamax just to like well G Max. <laughs> just to make sure I KO it and call it GG's. But look at that, guys. I love G Max Cinderace. G Max Cinderace is such a good, good G Max. Yeah, so they, they, they Diamond Max too, or maybe G Max. Whatever they have. You change your fit, fighting type. Oh, alright. Alright, so I remember wrong. Thank goodness this this is not a weakness policy uh, Lapras. Probably assault best. So that's scary by the way. I seen not not a lot, but I seen a couple people uh, use use weakness policy Lapras. Personally, I have done it before. Alright. Well, since they decided to go with free stripe, which I believe it's a mistake, I have full... I personally have full other... other uh, Cinderace that, you know, knew better than to, like... They're gonna just max knuckle, right? So I believe if they have free stripe, that will have work better because uh, they won't survive another. I think I still have one. Uh, even if I take him an extra turn. But yeah, a couple mistakes from the other guy, but otherwise I will take this first win. GG's. Our first battle of the night is doing pretty well. And then let's just quickly check him. Check something now. The war okay. Yeah, I saw best Lapras. That's what I saw. That's what I saw, guys. I, I do personally think uh, weakness policies Lapras are scary. Alright, so we got our next battle. Oh, I really like uh, that scary card. I uh, apologize, I forgot to like... Tape earlier. So, we're gonna start with Scissor on our side again. They start with Cinderace. I'm just gonna do the same thing I did last time. Okay, this is the one I remember. 
So yeah, they ain't gonna, uh, they're gonna G-Max first. Which is what I expected my last opponent to do. And, you know, I keep messing the G-Max and Dynamax. This actually is not a G-Max in the race. It's just a Dynamax in the race, all right. Max Air Stream. At least it's liberal. I actually met like a Cinderace that actually was just Blaze, which was really weird. I wish they had not done Max Air Stream, but yeah. And again, I make another mistake. I should have done Counter. But I mean, regardless, like, I will have die. Oh, never mind. I did bullet punch. I did my priority move. <laughs> my bad, guys. Yeah, I bullet punch at it. And since the priority move, bam. We, we get the, we waste his Dynamax. Their team will be faster because of the max airstream. But at least we got uh, his Dynamax and we got to save ours. All right, here's what I was talking about, like, how... Um, the fact that I lose, I lose my my only like check for for fairy types. Uh, thankfully, I haven't. I think there was maybe one battle where I struggle a little when I lost like my scissor on time. But obviously, he went. He goes for the sword dance. I don't know if I KO it with the bullet punch. But they were sneaky. They. Um, this is where like. Hopefully they, they didn't have something, but they do have Shadow Sneak, which is what I will have done. And just like, you know, I, that's, I lose my scissor, uh, which is very unfortunate. But at least uh, I did my... Oh, so I brought the money time. Cool. Uh, I believe I go with Cinderace because I want to do Sucker Punch. Right? Yeah, I should have gone with Cinderace. Please tell me I went with Cinderace. Get down. But yeah, scissor, losing Scissor is that early, pretty sucky. But at the same time, I, they knew I had Bullet Punch, right? So if I hadn't shown my car about having Bullet Punch, I wonder if they hadn't done, like, they wouldn't have done Shadow Sneak. Or maybe they will have. I mean, I would personally have done it. So, I was debating here when I to uh, G-Max. Or do the priority move, because, I mean, it's not like Mimikyu has anything for me. Um, but Sucker, I don't think Sucker Punch will have KO it. So, I just want to do the safe thing, and I just Dynamax it. I mean, G-Max it. And it's not like, you know, they, they can Dynamax because they lost their Cinderace already early in the game. They only have two Pokemons left. I mean, Mimikyu... It's like should be dead either in this one or in the next one depending and they should be pretty like Glass there you go. We one shot. I guarantee that Things like I, I do wonder though like there's more things where I would like to know hey by Dynamax Do I KO this Pokemon or not? Or do I have to Dynamax just to like you know make it sure and then all right So their last Pokemon is Dragapult that actually works really well for us We're just gonna do max darkness again and even if they are faster or have something, uh, Dragapult is just freaking glass. Like, he, he's gonna die regardless. One or if, even if it takes, like, if it does Phantom Force or something like that. Alright, so they do Dragon Darts. Wow. And a little bit more than I like, but I will take it. I will take it. And then, GG's. We, we get our second victory. I even have to use their many <laughs> I think I brought our money in case I lost Cinderace and like went against Dragapult. But yeah, that was pretty cool. Um, I'm slowly learning about priority moves and weathers and stuff because I think it's so important around just like to learn about those things. All right, third battle of the night. We got Rillaboon, Cinderace, Rotten Wash, Togepiss, Bisharp, and Dragapult. Um, I feel like they're not gonna bring Bisharp. I think that's just baiting me. Uh, I believe they they might be bringing Rillaboon and Cinderace to finally. Now the question is when or not they're gonna be Togekiss or Dragapult. Because I don't think they will bring uh, Wash. There's like nothing. I mean, okay, they could bring Wash 
to deal with my Cinderace. Or we could battle it. Cinderace wins with Cinderace. I, I'm going to go with Scissor again. I really, really like starting with Scissor. This is going to be a very aggressive team. So I don't think I need Klefki yet. Uh, I will bring my own Cinderace. Because it will check a couple of those Pokemons. And then... Yeah, I think... I think hmm... I actually don't remember if I really want the Gyarados at the end. But we're bringing it regardless. Maybe this is one of where like, I should have brought maybe Ushi for. Not 100% sure. I actually do not remember the outcome of this battle. Okay, so I was wrong, and they bring Bisharm right away, which is uh, kind of sucky at the same time, but not the end of the world. I know Bisharm has nothing against me because we're both the same type, so I'm gonna just like sword dance. And then their metal burst actually fell, so I get a freebie. I get a freebie right there, so... I think I think we should do counter. Yes, let's do counter. Break, break. I barely hurt. All right. So if they attack us one more time, we should have it. Although I wonder if bullet punch will actually. Since we sword dance, I wonder if bullet punch will actually uh, KO it. So let's try it. And they actually withdrew. And guys, this is sick. This is like so awesome. They take Togekiss out. That was so happy about this. And then bye bye Togekiss. I honestly do not know why they did that. But I'm so glad I was like, let's let's try it out. And then I get a freebie out of that. Alright, so Cinderace is their last Pokemon. My Sash is gone. He is gonna just like KO my scissor, so I know that scissor is gonna die. So I'm gonna try a Tom Pass if I survive, but that didn't work out unfortunately. Either way, scissor was dead, right? I if I you know somehow like outspeed it or something, maybe I could have done it. But scissor did his job. One of his Pokemon is om like almost dead. Cinderace is just out. It's not a big deal. I'm just gonna take Gyarados out instead. Um, Right now he's fire type. I don't know if he actually have anything for for my Gyarados. But I do want to leave my own Cinderace for the end. So we're gonna go with Gyarados. Uh, intimidated, you know, because it's always good to just do that in general. Lower its attack and probably just waterfall. I mean, they might change to like a different type typing, but waterfall is still pretty good. I could have thought about dragon dancing. Um, but I, I wasn't sure like what they had. So they go with bounce. So yeah, I should have gone out of my way uh, to go for for the dragons da uh, dragon dance. Because that would have been a freebie right there. But I mean, it's fine. Missed attack. We're going to get... Waterfall is still the best one. Uh, I could have done like bounce bounce. But there's like a chance of failing, right? Sometimes I get lucky, sometimes I get unlucky. Uh, they get lucky, they hit me, but I mean, that's not too bad. But damn it, they get the paralyze. They actually get the paralyze in that. Uh, but hey, it's okay. Uh, Cinderace is really, really weak. They, they should have Dynamax. I actually believe they should have Dynamax way before taking that hit. Now they're Dynamaxing. Um, but it's actually kind of too late because, sure, you, you, you're probably going to KO my, my Gyarados, but, okay, so this, I got the term right because they actually don't have a G-Max. But look at how weak Cinderace is, right? Like, I am going to be KO, like, even if, you, it doesn't matter if they're faster, it doesn't matter, like, they KO my Gyarados. Gyarados did enough. It is very unfortunate that I didn't Dragon Dance first. Um... Maybe they made a mistake because I do believe they should have Dynamax right away. I have personally done that before. 
where I forget, like, because I'm choosing attacks and I forget to Dynamax after, like, three checking. So, I take my own Cinderace. I'm gonna G Max at it. It doesn't matter, like I said. They, they, they can try hitting me with whatever they have. Uh, I'm still beating it, but I'm gonna play it safe, actually. Uh, I know they're gonna be attacking me, so I'm gonna play it safe and I'm gonna do Sucker Punch. And I actually feel very mean about this. But that KO is the Cinderace. <laughs> so this is this is one where like, hey, I learned priority moves. Wait, Sucker Punch can can do it. So I wasted their Dynamax super fast. Now they just have what a half health Bishop. I don't remember if I Dynamax or just Pyroball. Okay, so I went safe. I didn't want to try. Oh, but he cancels it. All right, man. But that was actually pretty cool. I was the the read there was pretty cool. And we made it. We made it 3-0. We made it to Grey Bowl tier, guys. So I I miscounted. I should have known better. But we're gonna do one more last battle. And actually, this is why Grey Bowl tier is so crazy. Look at this team, guys. Look at this team. <laughs> we have Porton, Sylveon, Rhyperior, and Ferdon, Gyarados, and Dracozole. Man, have I not seen this Pokemon in a while. So the only new Pokemon they had is Porygon, right? So I should have known better. I should have under, like, you know, known what, what this team was capable of. Um, I should have started with Cinderace in my opinion, but I, I just went out of mode and started with Scissor, I believe. But yeah, they're gonna probably start with Ferrothorn. I haven't fall against a lot of Porygons. I don't know if he's gonna, I know he is a stall. Dollar. Um, the Tree Academy and Recover combo is very, very dangerous. They have their own Gyarados and they might be bringing Dracosol. But yeah, so I personally think I, I I do this a lot when I win a lot and I start making mistakes. But I, I will be honest when I say that I wasn't sure what to bring against this one. I definitely should have gone aggressive. I shouldn't have gone with um, Cinderace first. Because 90% of the time, people are gonna start with Ferroturn, right? And they don't start for Ferroturn, I could still, like, they could start with Rhyperior. Like, Cinderace was just a bit better choice. And I didn't do that. Because I was just so used to, like, a set pattern of plays I like to play. Um, but it happens, and we learn. At least we made it to Grey Bull tier in, in three battles. I'm actually pretty, pretty happy with the team. Pretty excited to be there. So... Yeah. And yep. His first choice is Ferrothorn. Um, like I said, Scissor is not the end of the world. But I do let him, like, set up. So I'm just gonna Sword Dance. Oh, also, uh, there was, like, one thing I didn't know about. Something about this, this Pokemon. But anyway. Yep, Stealth Rock right there. Freeze it up. So here's my mistake one. Because I've been trying wanting to try Baton, uh, baton Pass. I shouldn't have done that. Uh, this is my, my, my mistake that pretty much hurt me a lot in game. So he, he does a knockoff and takes my life orb off. I'm already so low between those two. So I won't KO the Ferroturn, unfortunately. I am pretty sure. Because of like losing also the life orb. But I spent I spent too much time like just against this guy. And oh and he reads me. 
He reads me and like takes out Gyarados instead. And his character is in Intimidate. Like, I'm just like, holy cow. This, just like the other guy did fancy stuff, this guy like takes it a top notch. Um, thankfully, like, I had the sword and the shield and helped me out. But at this point, this is my mistake number two. I don't think I should have gone out of the way and Dynamax. I mean, G-Max. But I just like, well, I really don't want to G-Max my Dermanitan. Maybe I should have, right? Uh, maybe Dermanitan will have been the better choice of Dynamax. But it's just very unfortunate. Just like I was like scolding the last person before. I mean, at least I didn't wait for red, right? It's not always the worst thing to do. Um, sometimes it works out that even if it's uh, a little bit. But at least, like, you know, I, I am changing my type, hoping for the best. Do I KO the Gyarados? I do KO the Gyarados at least. So I'm like, now I have the extra speed to and the sword dance with me. So this is doesn't is not too bad. But I did, I did G Max first, right? So they're gonna, uh, so they have fair turn and one more thing in the back. And I actually don't remember what they have. So they have Sylveon in the back, and my goodness gracious, is that scary? I should have just done Max Airstream. Wait, I did. Okay, I did do Max Airstream. So they are gonna Dynamax their uh, Sylveon, which I mean, it is the smart thing to do. Alright, what do you do? Do you do Max Car or something else? That was did pretty well, but I think he one shot me with something. He was very, very unfortunate. Yeah, Max Starfall. Actually, yeah, it is unfortunate. If, like I said, if, if my Cinderace was more healthy, we hadn't that taken that. Um, what was it? Whatever, like the other tag we have. I I think I could still be safe because now I have nothing for his Feral turn. Losing Cinderace makes me not have anything for. Uh, Red, which is very very unfortunate I thankfully will be able to deal with his I should be faster so thankfully I will be able to deal with his um, with his Sylveon mm, let's, yep, let's just kill the Sylveon right okay so so I had this battle in the back I should have had it, right? Like, he just has Ferroton. I still have their many tank in the back. Um, the only thing, like, left is is uh, the Stealth Rock that hurts me at the beginning of the battle. But... Ferroton is a pain in the butt, and I misplayed big time. So what I instead do... Uh, and I shouldn't have Baton Pass. What I should have done is kept Sister on. Just keep doing uh, Sword Dance. Just so like I could KO it faster. So he takes my focus sash, which like I said, no big deal. Um But yeah, I think my biggest mistake was like swapping to my Dermanitan and like going for the greed. Like the double sword and I didn't need it. I don't think so. And then I could just do counter. Because they started getting aggressive with me. Right? And their general doesn't hurt very much. So I should have just done with counter. But I don't know if I remember if I lose it or I decide to just risk it and do baton pass. But it's just sucky because <laughs> I had this battle. Like it was pretty good and I just kept messing up and which is like very unfortunate. Okay, so he gets a crit there. And and spoilers guys, I didn't know Gyro Ball was gonna hurt that bad. I didn't know Gyro Ball hurt that bad. And, and okay, so like, you know, Condor also hurts a little. Um, he has leftovers like any other, like, usual freaking uh, fair turn. So the fact that I, I lost, the fact that I lost my, uh, my, my, my Cinderace really sucks against the fair turn. And here's the thing. 
Here's the thing. I saw he was gonna recover. Okay? I, I saw they were gonna do that whatever, like, attack that recovers you. And instead, they went for the Jiro Ball again. They actually went for the Jiro Ball. And I didn't know Jiro Ball would one-shot me. Like, hello? What? Anyway. Um... He, he it just sucks, like, right? He, he did a lot better reads, but I had the advantage, and I think here's where my name... I felt like he was a lot more experienced than me. Um, but that was GG's, and... Hey, at least we made it to Grey Vault here, right? That's a highlight. Let's focus on that. But yeah, I, I might be using this team again. I might not. Uh, I haven't decided yet. At the moment, I'm finishing other stuff first. Like, I just finished doubles, too. So, I will keep you guys updated. But thank you for watching.